Good? Okay. Here with the Samurai Viking, David Kurzel. And David, just really fun watching you out there. You're doing a fight scene right now as we speak. So athletic and obviously staying in great shape. Look at this guy. Uh, it's just a pleasure to watch you. And your uh, personal brand is really blowing up right now. I mean, it's so fun. Let's talk about the movie, then we'll talk about your brand a little bit. Of course. Um, are you... What is it like being in this movie? I know you've been in a bunch of movies. Sure. Um, tell us a little bit about Warrior Island and what the experience has been like so far for you. The experience has been amazing. So, so far, I fought a bunch of ninjas. That's why I'm so sweaty, because it's quite a workout. But the experience, working with all these masters and grandmasters, you're talking Dan Severn, Ron Van Cleef, there's so many, Silvio Simic, uh, and we're gonna have an amazing fight, by the way. But yeah, that's to come. But yeah, the experience has been wonderful. You know, and obviously, James Jefferson, the creator, such a nice guy. It's always nice when you can actually work with people who are respectful and nice. It just makes the atmosphere that much more pleasant. But yeah, I love the storyline and the show is just a blast. As you can see, everybody's having a lot of fun, a lot of positive energy as, as it should be on a film set. A lot of ninjas behind us, both black and red. You talked about the storyline, David. Uh, I don't know what you can divulge and what you can't divulge, but I know that the overall arching message um, underneath Warrior Island is anti-bullying. Mm -hmm. um, maybe address how that resonates with you. Oh, personally, I was basically the kid from the Karate Kid. I got bullied. That's why I started taking martial arts and lifting weights. So this anti-bullying message is very important. I will say this, though. As much as we do not like bullies and nobody should be a bully, in a weird way, it helped people like me transform ourselves. Like, I became, I mean, this was my life, martial arts and lifting weights and all that, and that's how I identify. So as much as I hated those bullies growing up, it did make me stronger. But do not become a bully, and I do not encourage bullying with that said, but it does make people stronger. Many of these people, including myself. And I know that in the movie there's a an element to the movie called the Tiki Code. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we could talk a little bit about the Tiki Code. It's, it's, it's a, what is it, a philosophy of life? It's a philosophy of life. It's all about respect. Even though martial arts are trained to fight and defend themselves, and even the sporting element of it, there's a lot of disrespect in the MMA world. And some of that's for show and for drama. But I think a lot of people forget the traditional things with uh, martial arts back in the day, you know, and the traditional belt system and that kind of stuff. And Warrior Island kind of really brings that world back. That's been forgotten because of MMA. Yep, and we talked about your brand. You're doing a really good job of positioning yourself in the marketplace as a unique niche. Tell us uh, a little bit about, I've never heard those two terms put together. It's it's actually brilliant marketing, uh, samurai viking in the same sentence. Yes, I, I yes. love it. Tell us a little bit about your brand and yes, the, the, how people can get in touch with you. Oh, well, the Viking Samurai YouTube channel is really blowing up. I interviewed so many great people. I had so many amazing martial arts and actors, directors, uh, stunt guys, mostly from the 80s and 90s era because I think the action and martial arts films were the best. And a show like this is inspired by that era. So that's why this makes it, you know, it's going to be extra special. But the Viking Samurai, there's ancestral links to my ancestry because I'm of mixed heritage. And then it just evokes the warrior and samurai. The, the, the Viking and the samurai evoke that warrior spirit. So and that's what I'm all about. The Viking Samurai's in the house. You're going to get to watch him on Warrior Island. Can you give us any spoilers? Can you give, tell us like what's going on in the plot and what we could look forward to? You can look forward to a lot of amazing action with, obviously, real martial arts. So these are real techniques. Uh, and they're going to be performed by the best in the world. David Kurzel, the Viking Samurai. Thanks for joining me, brother. Thanks. All right. Enjoy the rest of the movie. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, That's really good. good. Uh, oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the more you do it. Yeah. And I think it's the right time. Everything's cyclical. This stuff's coming back. Like that Renee Fresh film I'm doing, we call it unapologetic Lee Jackson. Violence, blood, gore, you know, Renee likes it. It's going to be a pretty women, you know, tough guys. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that, that was how they did it back then. <laughs> I, I told you, man. Easily. Until, until you have the chocolate chip. Can I, can I tell you something about the bar? Because I'm trying to get this in the first one. I love the stadium for you and Simeon. 